I, I just told you he's not racist. That's my answer. Well, that is racism. It's really not. So Did you come up in the left wing example, education yeah, system? Please don't understand. Uh, uh, Mansplain it to me. Please don't left explain it to me because I'm tired of this model. Don't swear at me. Who are you swearing at? What? How is me talking about Islam? This what? Look at the state of you. You might need to smoke some crack. If you want to see what Iblis looks like, Shaitan, look at, check out this black man with red cheeks and curly hair. Who was he? He was a man that Mohammed didn't like, obviously. Why didn't he like him? I have no idea. What does, so what does that matter? He didn't say he's like Naptal, he said he looks like Naptal. Because Naptal was an evil person. So if I'm evil, do I look like a... He can be, he can be behind you. Anyway, it's all getting a bit. Who are you from? I hey, love. Don't make, don't make yourself like that. I haven't put my hand on nothing. What's he got to do with you? Is that right? You sound like you're a slave. Okay. You sound like a slave of Allah. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. How am I a liar? I haven't made an assertion. Yeah, you can't defend yourself. They come and attack you with the same question you have. No, no, no. Don't be the same. Mohammed is a racist. He's a racist. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, wait.
honour of being the first man that lived the court of prayer. And did he have no other black slaves? No, but he was given did he have no other black slaves? Why would he give a black man an honour? Because he was his favourite slave. Do you realise the, you realize the Prophet of Solomon? He didn't do stuff for no reason. He did it for a message. Is it? The same reason why he gave Bilal that honour. I thought honor. he did everything at the will of Allah. No, no, but there's a reason. I didn't think he had his own reason. Oh, it's for political. So why are there still blacks in slavery? In slavery in Islam today, the and women no correlation to the in Islamic countries, what people are in doing Sharia, today, what people are doing today, you're what saying what Sharia has nothing today, to do with Islam. What people are doing today, it's not answering me. People are yeah. doing today. Yeah. Where imams are, um, you know, instrumental in uh, di giving out what's good and what's not good in terms of. I haven't finished my point though. I don't know how you're going to answer my point when I haven't finished it. You haven't let me finish. So, slavery. Okay. I don't know how you're going to answer my point when I haven't finished it. You haven't let me finish. So, slavery. Okay. He doesn't want to know. He's not interested. The point is that Sharia is not divorced from Islam. If it is, those people should be dealt with by the vast majority of Muslims. In an Islamic Republic, like Pakistan, for example, or any of them, Saudi Arabia, or excuse me, sir, or any of those countries that are proudly Islamic. Are they using a religious book? Are, are the Chinese using a religious book to persecute Muslims or Christians? The difference is, I tell you the difference. No, because if it's in your scripture, you can call to Allah to say this is why it's permissible. That is what Sharia is. It's a justification and a condemnation. Nation, well, this, depending on the Quran, the I'm not just saying it. I know what I'm talking about. You clearly don't. No, I'm not. You clearly don't. I'm a Christian, and I understand that China is persecuting. Excuse me, China. Uh, I will come to you. China is persecuting Christians. Also, I know. I know. I deal with Christian persecution all day long. But what I will say is that Xi Jinping or the CCP cannot go. It's in my scripture. They can't say that. You can. You're just saying these things. I'm not. I've given you evidence of everything I've said so far. I showed you that. You asked me, is there any other religion that says there's no distinction? I showed you that. You haven't shown me any evidence of your claims. Okay. Oh, I've lost my phone, unfortunately. Uh, the guy who I could have used his phone. And no one else, all these young men dressed quite snazzily, has a mobile phone on them. Can you believe it? I'm really Real. Unbelievable. Sure. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I so anyway, the point is that Sharia does um, legislate for all aspects of life. It depends on which school of uh, Sharia you adhere to, if you're Shia, if you're Sunni, if you're whatever. But the fact is that slavery exists not in all Islamic countries, but it exists and it exists unimpeded by the state. The point you're making is that because a religion teaches you to do that, and wherever someone does it from their free will, it almost dampens it. You're saying that if your religion teaches you it, it's worse compared to if you do it all. I just find it a cheat because I believe in the one true God, and I find that if a rapist stands there, for example, in a courtroom, you, you know who you know who, who started slavery, right? Uh, yeah, uh, in the Bible, listen, if you know no history. history. It does, and it says, set your servant free after six years and pay them. And if they are a Christian, treat them as a brother. Don't think I don't know the Bible. Do they? Do they really? But do they let them go after six years? No, they don't, because they don't have the Bible. What? Hang on. What's a slave? We're up to what's a slave? We're going philosophical. A slave is a chattel. A slave hey, is your hey, property. Hey. Sorry. Why you got you? Why are you got you? Sorry, I'm coming back to you. I know what the Bible says about servitude. Yep. Ephesians 3, 6, 5, 8, Paul states, Slaves, be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling. Yes. That's it. No, no, no. Let me ask you. Ask the Christ. All instructing the slaves to obey their master. Excellent. And similar statements also read. Surely, no, don't read me the Bible. Don't read me the country. Let me answer. Answer. No, I'm telling Before you Colossians, let me answer Ephesians. Yeah, yeah. Paul is speaking to Christians who are slaves. He says, slaves, denoting who he's talking to. Obey your masters. So he's saying, don't be rebellious. You know, God is sovereign. But it's not saying take slaves, it's saying Christians who are slaves respect your master. Yes, it's already happening. Yes, sir. You just said exactly. But the Quran doesn't do that. The Quran says fight the unbeliever, fight the fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last name.
I'm changing the subject. Yes, I am. Because I can't believe this guy's got his own philosophy. You're telling me you're telling me. So if he's in the last give me policy. Excuse me. What's your question? No, because you said it's already happening, which is what we're saying. So Paul is speaking to the status quo of the time. He is not advocating. He's not saying to Christians, go and become slaves, is he? Yes, he is, but he's saying no, no, this is why you don't. Okay, okay. You're making the fact that you have no discernment very obvious. Uh, Let me say this in the 21st argument, century. Yeah? Everyone, you lot, slaves. I've lost my you argument. Are obedient, you're obedient to a human being. I'm not even listening, bro. You're not even listening. How, I, how can I listen to both of you at once? Surely someone's doing a deflection here. No, I'm in the You know, you're saying that, you know, whatever it is, Paul or the Bible, is dealing with the situation at the moment. The status quo, yes. But Mohammed, why can't you just appreciate the same thing? Because it's not true. Give me the evidence that he is speaking to the societal norms of the time. Give me the evidence. Could you give me evidence, please? He just luckily gave me evidence. I'd like you to give me evidence that Mohammed is speaking to either current slave masters or current slaves. Nothing to do with Islam. But that's not the case. So you don't think there was slavery existed? I do believe it existed, but I don't believe. Uh, you know, replicated, and he possessed slaves. Jesus had no slaves, either sex slaves or chattel. What was uh, the prophet's last sermon? What did he say before he passed away? I don't know. Oh, he said, get me a pen and paper. An and they went, no. Nah. Black is not greater than a non-black. Excellent. He waited until he died before he said that. Jesus said, neither Jew nor Gentile, uh -huh. slave or free, and male or female. America, 40 50 years of slavery, America is not Christianity. You're conflating two issues. Not even in the UK. But, but the UK the is UK. not Christianity. Well, they they run away from so you're telling me, hang on, so Saudi Arabia is Islam? Because MBS has just let women live on their own, turned off the minarets and opened up Mecca. Do you agree with that as a Muslim? Exactly. You don't know what's happening in your own religion. He's saying America and even the UK as if that is Christianity. As if my government, as if the government... Of, sorry, let me finish a point, sir. Do you want to let me finish? Pakistan does use the Quran. Saudi Arabia does use the Quran as a constitution. This country does not use biblical verses to justify anything because they're not Christian, because they believe in... I'm, I'm here every week, love. Do some research and come back. When you can defend your prophet, I'll talk to you all day long. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Give me your evidence. I do. I speak about Christian persecution in Pakistan all the time. I had friends in Pakistan. Excellent. You got a really good sense of humour. Do you want to start deflecting then? Is that what you want to do? Ooh, that's really high pitch. Is that right? And you're psychic. And you did talk to me. Sorry, no, I'm just completely distracted by this. Like, child. Yeah, I, can find it. I thought you weren't allowed to speak to me. Why don't you go away, little girl? Why don't you go away? Because you're not supposed to speak to me. Because you're not assault. What are you, some sort of left wing idiot? You're just an idiot then. Okay, do I? Yeah. And you sound like an idiot. Tell another cheek, miss. I'm sorry. Nice. I haven't been slapped. But they're just children, but they should learn some, some you know, something or other. They should just learn full stop. Right, so I don't have a phone at the moment, unfortunately. If you have a phone, I can tell you what to put into the search engine. Anyway, I think it is Bukhari. You're in luck. And also... Yeah, yeah. Excellent. But if when you see the Sahih Hadith, will you accept that? No, I need to see. When you, I said when you see it, you heard that prefix. Excellent. Yeah, when you do, we will accept it. Right. The prophet said, I looked at paradise and saw that the majority of its residents. So what is it? Look. Sahih al-Bukhari. Excuse me. Bro. All right, everybody. Look, Sahih al-Bukhari, you ask for Bukhari, it's Bukhari. Yes, I can actually. I'm learning. Yeah. Can you read the Arabic for us? No, I can't read all of that. I know that the first sound there is a J. If you want to just, no one cares? Okay. I wouldn't understand it. Even what if does I read it, it? What does it say? It says, 
that. The Prophet said, I looked, no, I didn't bring you Sunnah.com, I bought you What's the Sahih Bakari. You, you think that Sunnah.com is lying about Bakari? Ah, it's weak. You know what? It's, it's, it's Sahih, but your argument is weak. I'm not lying. You're saying that your Muslim sources are lying. Bro, could you find this hadith somewhere else? Yes, I can. It's book 57, hadith 132, Sahih Al Bakari. Yes, sure. Bakari 5198. Anyway, and what it says for this gentleman who's not actually that bothered is the Prophet said, I looked at paradise and saw that the majority of its residents were the poor. And I looked at the, in brackets, hell fire and saw that the majority of its residents were women. He came and asked me for uh, evidence. Were you using that as evidence It was his conversation with some other ladies. His conversation with somebody else. I'm not using it as evidence in that. No, I'm just proving that I don't just pull out hadiths because I don't need to make them up. They're silly enough as it is. For the women thing, I've no idea. He, this guy was debating two Christians. Oh, no, I don't need. No, no, it's all right, bro. I don't need any exegesis from a human being in 2021. Sahih Bukhari didn't have your wisdom at the time that he said it's Sahih. So I can understand plain communication. Excellent. Brilliant. It's not my debate, bro. He was talking talking to women over there. I don't need the context because it's not my debate. It's not my debate. Excellent. I understand what you're saying. No, I never need a bystander. I can go to the commentaries and the texts here if I want to, or I can go to, you know, the, the explanations. Do. Yes. Sorry, everyone. Yes. Yes. Why? Uh, should we get the context? <laughs> Can you get up? Jesus calling a woman a dog for me. The verse. I think it's Matthew. Don't know. At the end, really, at the very end, Jesus didn't have any sex slaves. He didn't get married. He didn't go to war. He didn't take. Uh, captives, he didn't slaughter whole villages really? of people. Yes, really, I'm a hundred percent positive, and it is all right. Sorry, uh, no, not in his entirety. No, he's the second person of the triune God. So, when did he entirely become God? He didn't ever entirely become God so he because he's a hundred percent God, but he is the second person of the triune God. Because the Father and the Holy Spirit are also in the triune nature so of the God of the Old Testament. Are are Yahweh, yes. Okay, so he was part of the triune God that ordered Sure, he's the word. Yeah. So when they ordered genocide, all the taking of slaves. And, and now can I tell you what it was ordered for? And it was a one time deal, unlike one Islamic. Time, so excuse me. Once the genocide once. Uh, all do all right, let me ask you, do all souls belong to Allah? Souls. Do they all belong to Allah? Can he guide do he guides and misguides do he misguides? He does do that, so he, I'm glad you said yes. So that, excuse me, but I haven't even finished my point again. So the point is, if all lives or souls belong to God, we'll say, Yahweh, he can deem that the treatment of his chosen, and they're chosen in the Quran as well, the, the Bini Israel, then he can choose. If, somebody, if, if they are sinned against, he can take retribution however he likes, because he is God. Well, unlike the flood with Allah, you mean? You're not really addressing it. So, I yes. am. Yes, he can. Something. Yes, so, yes. Hold on. So you were just and it's a, like I said, it's a one-time deal. It's not fight the unbeliever until there is no more fitna. Yes, because once the Amicalites are dead, there is no more wipe out the Amicalites. So when God says, so wait, hold on. You're condoning killing babies, but then. But ordering by another human being to be killed. Okay, I'm going to take a baby soul, right? For example, and they might not go to heaven according to Muhammad. I am letting you speak. Yeah, that's what he said to Aisha. Can I explain? When a baby, for example, gets taken on a miscarriage on the flood, that's different than when God says to his other souls, "Go murder babies." Okay, so so fight the unbeliever and fight them until they. Yeah, not babies. Hold on. Excuse me. The babies aren't believers. Babies cannot be unbelievers. 
Well, they can be because Mohammed said to Aisha that they won't necessarily go to heaven. Which one did that? Yeah, that Mohammed. Yeah, exactly. He said that. So, sure, yeah, tell me how that's justifiable. So, to be honest, it seems like you're not really addressing my points. Okay? To me, you, I feel like I'm answering you, them. You condemned this letter for did fighting I? the unbelievers. Where did I condemn it? Well, so, so I was like, answering you. I said, Jesus didn't wage any war. And you said, yes, he did. Jesus was the older of the Old I've already answered Which you, and that's incorrect. Jesus, Your position is incorrect theologically, according to Christian doctrine and Jewish doctrine. So, so you need to come again with a better rephrasing. Let me put it like this, yes, it's possible. Uh, no, no, I can get the complex. You need to simplify in terms of uh, correlation with reality. Only if you don't claim that Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sure. And he is part of the Holy Spirit. Yes, the second person. He's, he's not heads. part of the Holy Spirit. No, he's no, part, part of the, the Godhead. Trinity. So you're yep. splitting heads. No, I'm not. Okay. It's a very different the thing. Trinity like, no, no, was the God of the Old uh, Testament. We've already done that. We've already Which done that. He doesn't part. mind babies dying in the flood of his cellar. Can you, like, relax? I can no, relax but, completely, but yeah. God did the same no, no. thing when I know, I know, I know. Our point is my point. Hallelujah! I'm son of God! Brilliant. I'm Messiah! My point was, this gentleman's point was, was, uh, something in the Old Testament when God um, ordered the destruction of a certain people and my counter was um, once sorry 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 once that people is wiped out that is not an eternal command whereas Allah says it is prescribed for you to fight and you will fight whether you so want to or not until there is no more excuse me sorry sorry I'm anyway I'm just going to ignore this guy because he's trying to deflect me bro I'm not a Jew and I'm not talking to you I'm talking to this young lady so the point is that, God order oh, sorry, I, sometimes my nicotine levels drop. So the point, no, no, sorry, let me just answer this lady. So the point is that if means till the end of time because of Allah has also said, no, I'm not taking no, that. You are. I'm not, it, I'm ignoring you now. So the point is that until there is no more unbelief, right? And, and yet Allah says he will make the followers of Isa, who are Christians and therefore Nijas, the worst of all creatures, according to a different verse, he will make them superior until the judgment day. And he will give Israel to the Israelites until the promise of the judgment has come. And this is, that's uh, the night journey, uh, 100 to 105. So Surah 15, 100 to 105. So there's my evidence. So go away and read it. Don't embarrass yourself. So that's my point. One time deals are one time deals. And I'm a Christian, so I don't have to follow those. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm speaking to this young lady. I don't have to. Fo I don't have to. Fo because I'm surrounded, mate. Yeah, so I. Thank you. Anyway, to the camera. Anyway, so the point is that I, we, as Christians, don't have to listen to any commands of the Old Testament. Yes, I am. My hair is my glory. Read the Bible. I'm not in a church. I'm not prophesying, and I'm not. Pro yes, show me. And then when you get to the bit. Where it's, no where it's, I'm not prophesying. I'm not prophesying. I'm not prophesying. Preaching. Exegeting. It, it, uh, explaining. The di you don't know the difference. Well, Mohammed had no prophecies, so there you go. No, I'm in the middle of a gentleman with this. Have you got it? You don't get Jesus calling a woman dog. Oh, shucks. I don't know. I'm, you love victimization. Yeah, you are a victim. You must be. You must be a victim. What hate speech against who? How am I hating anyone? I didn't start this conversation. I am real. Is it? I feel very ashamed, except I don't. Yeah, the woman, dog, sorry. I, yeah, I know, but my thumbprint doesn't work on the phone. Jesus called you a dog, anyway. He didn't call me a dog, love. 26. He didn't. Okie dokie. 26. Jesus did not answer a word. So he's, yeah, I'm coming from beforehand. Down here. Jesus didn't answer a word, so his disciples came to him and urged him to send her. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Okay. So he said, I was looked. Oh, all right. So, first of all, he's saying, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel, yeah. although he counters that at another point. The woman came and knelt before him, Lord, help me, she said. Yeah. He replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dog. So, he's not put wait. Yeah, you're a dog. Wait. Bro, That's what he says. Oh, yeah, why don't you chill out, mate? No, seriously, why don't you chill out, though? Why he call her a dog? Who's talking to you? I'm speaking to this guy. Anyway, I've got to because it's just. 
Yeah, yeah dogs. All saying? Gentiles, they're you dogs, according to them. I've got to swear now, According to the Can Jew. you believe this right, nonsense? Let, 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 let. Like he's going to prove anything to no, me. That's anyway, clear, so what he's, what he's saying is that the children, like the children of the promise, the children of God, and then... Well, in, in your own home, if you were allowed to have a dog, obviously you're almost Muslim, but if you've got a dog, if you've got a dog, Mohammed said so, right? Let me give you my, well, I haven't even got to the end of the verse, but, okay, so, and he actually says to her, her personally, woman, you have great faith, your request is granted. So therefore, he's not insulting her, he's actually bringing her into this promise, but the ref, the analogy, because he uses parables, etc., of crumbs going onto the floor, even, there's another verse, um, those who are not children of God. So the, the Gentiles. At that point, yes, the yeah. resurrection yeah. So non-Jews are dogs, of course. Yeah. But this is pre-resurrection, you understand. So it's fine for him to be racist before pre-resurrection. He's not racist. That's it He's God. It if is. I say, for example, that, um, but, that's but God gave the... Allah gave... As I said to this guy, I just told you he's not racist. That's my answer. But that is racism. It's really not. Did you, you come up in a left wing example, education yeah, system? Yeah, Please don't understand. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mansplain it to me. Please don't left explain it to me because I'm tired of this model. Don't swear at me. Who are you swearing at? What? How is me talking about Islam? This what? Look at the state of you. You might need to smoke some crack. Is that right? Do you want to put the camera? You Hang on a minute. Up, yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there because none of, not one of you can control your own Muslim brothers. So anyway, well, you stood there. You stood there. Did you not stop? Oh, well, then maybe I missed it whilst I was being a crackhead. So anyway, if I was a black person, yeah. I lost. You ask me for food because you might be starving. Let's hope that never happens. Sure. Yeah, we're, say, we're well, it's not right to take the, the food and throw it to the dogs. I am. Yeah. Can I answer you? I think this is where you're clear, like, misunderstanding is it's spiritual food. So she is asking Jesus to speak with no. her about oh, such yeah. And he attributes yeah. to her faith. He says, you are, a, you have great faith because she trusts in what he says. So it's spiritual food because there is another verse with oh, wow. pearls before swine is not drugs, real swine. Drugs, yeah, it that's means drugs, riches that's drugs. before dirty that's animals, drugs, animals. That's animals. That's So the dogs in this, please listen to me because I'm kind of losing, like, the will to be on this video. And in John 3 16, he says he desires that none should perish. He sent his son into the world for, for all, so that no one will be though in that position of those spiritually like unclean animals. The problem is, in this context, when he says, Sorry, I, am, everyone. I am only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Yeah, he also only. says, I'm counting at that verse for you so, right now. So was he sent I'm counting the, the verse. The he no, was no. sent to the to Israel but he is the perfect Israel and he then said there are other sheep not of this flock who know my voice and they will be why you got to read all of his words they will be we are adopted into Israel as Christians through the blood of Christ because he is the faithful Israel you're not really addressing what I'm saying. I am. In the specific uh, verse, you're ah, basically saying, without context. I am only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Sure. I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Uh -huh. She is not Israelite. Yes. So he calls her a dog. Maybe no, he doesn't call her a dog. He talks about dogs. In the analogy, she is a dog, right? She's one of the dogs, yeah. Yes. But he's not saying you're a dog. Why, 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 because she's, she's a gentleman. She's not a Jew. Yes. Because I say it in yes. other colloquial yes. language. Yes, because it's the that. opposite of a child, the children of Israel. Yeah, but she's still a dog because of her descent, isn't she? He then two sentences later, and not even yeah, his own sentences, and, and he dog. blessed her yeah, by sending. Oh, here you go. Oh, well, there you go. Then it's proven. Yeah. All right, oh, great, great chat. Thank you. I've got to do a wrap up now. I can't. I'll just go around in circles. Take that. Time for cigar. So any yes, amen. So anyway, sorry about that, everybody. So um, yeah. When I mentioned the spirit of Antichrist, um, I don't attribute it to that gentleman, uh, obviously, but there is like it seems to me a willful, um, a deliberate attempt not to understand. Whereas when I look at the Hadith and when I look at the Quran, I do go to the Tafsir and I do go to different religious schools to find out what the context is. And it's very important, as I said the other night on the live stream, to look at the context, the historical context of where these verses are delivered. Because earlier on, obviously, if Paul is speaking into the social uh, status of Christian slaves, then that's one thing he's not saying to them, pick up your stuff and go and be a slave. 
the Bible says the opposite. It tells uh, even a slave master, if you're a Christian and your servant, rather than slave, because they can go after six years if you pay them, unless they don't want to go, which doesn't seem to me like utter destitute servitude, then you should treat them as a brother. These hierarchies are redundant. Male and female, there is no one above the other, unless it's your husband, obviously, or your father. But that's it. There's no random man on the street who's a Christian who has to outrank me in terms of um, Christ tore down the uh, curtain even so that we go into the Holy of Holies. He is our Holy of Holies. We are a royal priesthood, excuse me, and therefore um, we are to keep all things holy. And that's difficult in the face of um, just willful ignorance. I don't know how to put it more charitably, but we love Muslims and therefore we do stand and get called all sorts of silliness by people who don't have any theological arguments because when you have to resort to insults, it means you have no foundation for your uh, your propositions. So, that being said, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff. Pray for Muslims at the park, please. Pray for us also, that the fruits of the Spirit would be slightly more evident than they are at the moment in me. And um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.